guys, we are currently in a suite. My first time ever at an Angel game, because yes, we're Angel fans, but I am in a suite right now, and it looks so cool. There's Evan. That's what it looks like. There's like a sink, cups, TV. I don't know if that's like free. What is that? Nothing. And me. That's awesome. doesn't even know and he's been watching baseball forever. of the game and it was really good took a little bit to finally finish the game but it finally finished and he won five to one right five to three five to three that's why it took so long because they kept scoring yeah they kept scoring scoring last minute because they took out Noah Syndergaard and I'm like why are you gonna take out Thor <laughs> but uh I was telling Evan that I really hate that I have to take this off now because I did a really good job so just keep it on <laughs> All right, but I see like I'm balding, like th really thinning out on the sides here, and it's just like really bugging me. And my hair here is just like really awful and just keeps falling out. And it also just feels really gross because I bleached it. So um, you could definitely see it here. Uh, so on Friday, I'm going to his aunt's, and she's going to shave my head finally, and I'll, I'll film it and everything. I'm really nervous, but I mean, I'm pretty much there as it is, and it looks really gross and stuff, so um, uh, I'll be wearing these mainly after, especially, I might not, I, I may just stick with the shaved head and kind of rock it for a bit, because I honestly always have wanted to do it for, for um, just just cause, you know, but I am, it's, my hair isn't gonna look like this. It's gonna be completely bald, like my skin. So I'm, I think I'm gonna be kind of, scary looking i don't know if i have enough confidence to like really pull that off so i'm probably gonna wear the head wraps when i go out in public but um yeah it's gonna be weird but uh, i spoke to the doctor today um i had an appointment today with him and pretty much doctor said uh that we're gonna be doing chemo for maybe six months um, so quite a bit longer than anyone else who's had cancer like stage two or stage one um, You normally do eight or ten sessions of chemo like radiation But in my case my Cancer is so aggressive and it's gotten so bad that uh, he said we're probably doing chemo for about six months um, We don't know if that could be shorter or longer um, but Yeah, I'll go more into the cancer stuff and updates in a newest video. I've been meaning to make but I'm, I've honest to God just been super drowsy and super dizzy in the morning. Um, so it's really hard to get up in the morning, afternoon and like make a video. Um, so I'm going to try my best to get that done. Uh, probably tomorrow or I'll probably wait till, I don't know, whenever I get around to do it. But um, I had a good night. How about you, sir? 
I had a good night. It was we got, a good game. We got here a little late, but uh, nothing did. happened until we got there. So luckily, they scored all their runs when we got there. Yeah, we stopped at Costco for hot dogs because I'm not about to spend $9 on a hot dog here. So we bought a hot dog and got some goodies, and that's why we were late. But it was worth it because I, I told them they never score anyways. <laughs> it's, it's never... When I come to a game, they never really score to like the third or fourth inning. Then st the stuff starts to go good, um, which happened today. So it was a great game. Brandon Marsh, I love you. Marry me. Um, <laughs> other than that, or Shohei, I'll take you. Um, you're gorgeous um, and amazing. They're both so good. Uh, Brandon Marsh did such a good job today. Just, oh my God, it was so good. So, yeah, we're going to head home. Bye. Hi, guys. I am at my appointment for chemo today and i was just telling my sister that i just wanted to record to show you guys that like it's like eight in the morning and i'm exhausted and i don't feel too well and i'm still dealing with the stomach issues so it's not an easy day today but i'm still here and i'm still gonna do my chemo i'm hopefully gonna just fall asleep with the benadryl that they give me uh and just you know snack it on something a little later because i'm really hungry so yeah Ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god. I love that it's purple. I do love that it's still purple. That is you pretty cool. Bring it up. You could. That'd be cool. We'll see if I have some. There's a chair over here. You can oh, sit if you want. <laughs> or you can pull up that stool a little more if you want. Yeah. This is what it looks like. It's still purple. We're going to try to touch it up with some purple. Because I like how this looks. I actually, I was like, whoa, this looks really cool. Uh -huh. So I was like, I'm down to retouch it up, if anything. If I could. So we're at BJ's right now. And I got the trio sliders. And that's what it looks like. Perfect size. And I just... Ooh, that monkey bread looks so good. And then there's Evans. Mm. So excited. I'm so pumped to eat this. Wow. I'm gonna have to help you. Hi guys. Um, it's me and Evan, aka Cast River Adventures. Um, today I'm just doing a really small fun vlog. Um, well, I guess the week because these are like my little chemo week vlogs um we just got back from bj's we had the pizookis because we just wanted pizookis honestly and we're living our lives to the fullest okay so it was delicious um we're on our way to our apartment real quick because i forgot my pins for pin trading and you can't pin at you can't pin trade at disneyland without your pins so i have to go back and get those um, unfortunately, we are leaving our apartment um, on the 1st and we're moving in with our family members due to my condition and because uh, if there's, you know, any emergency financial things going on, we can, we don't have to worry about rent um, and bills and stuff. So we're really grateful that our family took us back in and um, are taking care of us and my daughter. Um, I'm also wearing my head wrap today because finally, uh, this week I will throw that into the vlog. Uh, I did shave my head officially. It is shaven. Uh, we did still dye it purple, <laughs> so I look kind of crazy. But I just wanted to wear my head wrap today just because it's pretty chilly today. It's really cloudy. And now that I'm bald, like, it's really cold. So, yeah, I'm just trying my best to stay confident in everything with the makeup and um, with my head wraps and stuff. So, yeah, we're on our way to get my pins right now. And then we're going to Disneyland to go pin trade. So that video will be coming out soon. So yeah, I'm excited. Hey guys. Um, I haven't filmed my video yet showing off my uh, buzzed head. But this is what it looks like now. Uh, you know, it was thinning out a lot. I decided just to cut it off. Or shave it off, I guess. Um, but not completely bald yet. I just got my Dilaudid. Uh, I actually had a feeling the morphine wasn't going to work to begin with, but, you know, it's procedure. They had to give that to me first. I was still not doing well, so uh, they gave me Dilaudid, and I'm much, much better. So, 
uh, I'm loving the hospital that I'm in. I actually came to a different one than the last one I was in. The last one I'm not a fan of. And um, these people are just so amazing. The doctor was nice and patient with me and, and um, really calm and asking me questions and asking if I had questions. So really, really nice people. My nurse is doing all she can for me and I really, really appreciate her. Um, yeah, um, we're just gonna wait on the CT scan and a uh, ultrasound to see if um, uh, what's going on. You know, we uh, we're not a hundred percent sure if it is a tumor. You know, by the looks of everything else, we're assuming it is. That's the theory. But the PET scan soon, hopefully, I will be getting it sooner than later. Um, will show uh, if the if the mass is a tumor and if the tumor is active. Uh, if it is, we will be going in to do a biopsy and we will test the tissue to see if it is a part of my HER2 breast cancer or if it's a different type of cancer. So um, we are just going to be waiting for that. And that's honestly the hardest part of this all is the waiting, the not sure, the, you know, we're not sure. So... I'm not doing so well mentally. It's been hard. I won't lie. But I'm I'm taking the right steps by talking to my psychiatrist and um, taking my medications needed for that stuff. And uh, I won't lie, last night I didn't get any sleep at all. I stood up all night playing with my puzzle <laughs> because I just couldn't sleep. I just, I just couldn't stop thinking. So it's hard. But I'm trying to just stay strong. Sorry. I'm trying to stay strong for my family and for my daughter. Today was actually a pretty good day too. I was, I was doing pretty well. I, I was in pain all day and kind of just being a trooper about it because I didn't want to have to wait eight hours to get into the ER. Luckily, it only it didn't even take an hour. I, I got seen really fast. But um, my daughter and I, like, we were playing together, and we had a good day. So it sucks that it, it's ending like this, but I'm hoping maybe we could get some answers because I have been having this pain and this uh, lingering fear of, you know, having to wait till July for the PET scan. Maybe this will urge my my oncologist to uh get that done sooner than later so i'm going to rest up right now and um uh, i'm gonna just try to rest hey guys i am in the hospital still but i'm going to be discharged today i just don't know what time but as of right now i am just hanging out in bed and uh editing my newest video that we filmed um, I actually really love, uh, actually I have two videos I have to film, I have to edit, I mean. And then this week we're going to be going to downtown Disney or Disneyland, I'm not sure which yet. Uh, I would love to go inside of Disneyland, but I'm always a sucker for a quick trip to downtown, so either one won't mind. Um, but I'm very happy and excited to go home because I missed my girl and my family, so I'm excited. Alrighty, so I am still here. Uh, we have to do one more fungal um, IV thing for a fungal infection, and I, I guess just for as a precaution, because um, I was not told I had any fungal infection. Uh, so yeah, doing that, gonna get this uh, healthcare directive uh, notarized, and then I'll be able to go home and go get discharged, so yeah. Okay. I am at Ross right now with my sister, and we're trying to pick out a, a planner for me because I told her I really wanted to get a planner for my, all my, my chemo appointments. I have a bunch of appointments all the time, and I always forget, so I... Oh, look at that! three ninety nine for this oh, one! Geez. And she told me to come here to Ross because there's, like, super cute and really cheap stuff. So now we're looking. I want, like, a really cute one. 
It's really fun. Like, this one's cute. I like it. And $3.99. Yeah. But there's bigger ones too. Look! Oh, oh be kind! That nice. That's so cute. Oh. This one's $8.99. Dude, compared to like Michael's, yeah. Michael's is like, how much is Michael's? Like 20 30 <laughs> for just one? Yeah. Just the book? Open it. Let me see. I love that. Oh, it's so cute. Be kind. I always say that too. I always say be kind. Why you gotta be mean? There's a lot of hate right now. Hello, Summer. That's cute. Let your heart fly. So it has Ooh, a little to-do to -do list. list. I want this. I always want planners. And the planners are so one. fun. I always want more. <laughs> and then look the calendar. Well, you could have like a workout planner. You could have a work planner. You can have. I already have a two. <laughs> a work planner, a home planner. Wow. So that's nice. But you're right about the workout one. Hmm. Yeah, I this, probably have one already too, though. So that's the one that we're looking at right now. Really cute. Wow. I really like that one a lot. And this one just says Faith. It's pretty. Also $8.99. I'm going to keep looking. My sister just found this book, and it says Adventures Out There. It's a little notebook, I think. But it's literally what Evan says after every time we're done filming. And I have to get it. It's only $2.99, so it'll just be like a little notebook for like maybe YouTube video ideas or something, pin trading stuff. Super excited. We're going to the infusion center right now because I have to get blood work done on my quick line. And uh, I also need to get a little mesh thing and a holder for it because the hospital the other day took it away and they didn't have any more. But my mom and I were just talking about that this today I'm getting my chest import uh, port in my chest today and after a week I can get my pick line taken out so that's exciting uh, but today I'm having really bad stomach issues again with the diarrhea it's not good and uh, we just gonna get through the day <sighs> All right, guys, I have my backpack. I just got a new backpack and everything, but uh, I'm about to head out to get my um, port done for my chest. So I gotta go. Sorry, it's like super fast and random, but um, I'm also wearing my hat for pride. I'm wearing it backwards. So yeah, we're about to get into the car and head to do my port. I'm really nervous, but. Guys, I'm in the little room they have and they want me to completely undress and put all my belongings in here. Um, yeah, my procedure is about to start. Alrighty, just got done with the procedure and I am now back in the room. I haven't seen the dressing, so. That's what it's looking like right now. Big patch. I did feel them like go like up here in my neck area. And, like, uh, so after we're done here, I'm gonna go get boys burgers with my mom to celebrate. I don't know what that is in my neck right there. <laughs> it looks like a stain, but they went pretty far up into my neck uh, cause they put a tube in my vein. And um, yeah, got it done. It's a little sore actually, I'm holding it on my phone. So yeah, my mom and I are gonna get boys after this and I'm excited. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna hang out for about an hour. I, th I think I can go home early. And uh, I did it. It's really scary, but I did it. So I'm getting boys later, but they have turkey sandwiches here and their turkey sandwiches in this hospital is so good. I just eat it plain though. I'm a plain Jane, but I'm so happy I could eat because I couldn't eat after 9 a.m. So I'm starving. Guys, I'm going to play the claw machine and try to get a doll for my daughter. I don't know what I'm going to get or try to get. The pig right there looks kind of interesting. Hmm. Here's a side thing. We decided to come to Boys to celebrate that I got my uh, my chest port implanted. I'm feeling a lot of pressure on my chest, by the way, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to go for the dog. Something with a snout. Oh, the pug. I'm gonna try.
Unfortunately, we got nothing guys. I got that little pig for a second and then that one for a second, but yeah, nothing. It's just how they're placed, but maybe next time. I had fun. I haven't played a claw machine in years, guys, so this is so cool. But all right, maybe next time. We're at Boys Burgers and I got us some lunch because I wanted to celebrate getting my pork. It was very scary. <laughs> I was, my heart rate was like 100 the whole time, and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> yes, I got a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, yeah. That was so delicious. I'll put my mask on. That was so delicious. But yeah, I have like a. I don't know what this is. It might just be like dried up blood. But yeah, this is what it looks like here. Uh, they don't want me to get it wet at all. And I'm not even wearing a, a bra right now because uh, they, they said that, you know, the bra strap goes right here. So uh, I'm going braless right now. But yeah, I feel a lot of pressure here, but that's okay. I, I do have um, Dilaudid that I was able to bring home. I'm only taking it as necessary because that is a very strong narcotic and do not want to mess with that. But I did take it because I am, I don't want to be in pain. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go home right now and go rest and edit my videos. So I'm excited. Hi, you guys. Um, right now, I just wanted to show you um, what my mom's friend came over and gifted me. Um, she also gifted me this awesome pink hat, which I love. But um, yeah, she got me this amazing care package from a nonprofit organization that I believe she said her daughter is a part of or runs. Um, but yeah, it's a care package for people or women who have cancer or I believe breast cancer specifically. And uh, I just got amazing stuff that I actually really needed. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So to start off, they got me this really awesome backpack. I love it so much and it's like glittery. It is so cool. And I really needed a chemo bag, which is pretty much a bag that I'll be taking to chemo every Friday. And I'll put my iPad, you know, all my chargers, water bottle, which they did get me a water and like all kinds of stuff that I, I take with me to, on Fridays will now go in this bag. And I'm so happy. And she got me a journal which is super cool. I actually have been wanting to journal um, just my thoughts and my experiences and what I'm going through um, just for myself and for my daughter. So that was awesome. A planner, which I I really needed a planner. So this is so cool that she got me one. Uh, I, I need all my you know appointments to be all in order and, and you know, have to figure out all my appointments because I have a lot of them. So that's so cool. I have a coloring book. Definitely need this right now, a weekly planner, because uh, this planner doesn't start till August. So I will definitely be using this today. Uh, this amazing book that just has like some inspirational quotes, which I just love. It's so pretty. So that's awesome. Some socks for chemo, because my feet get really cold. And a necklace. A water bottle, a mask because uh, sometimes it, they leave the light on or I don't want my sister to sit in darkness so I'll put that on. A loofah, pink of course, a couple of organizational stuff, some more stuff for organization and word search and this cute little magnet of a kitten. Oh and most of all a stress ball, very important. 
but yeah she got me all this stuff and it's super cool um i will try to find the organization name i had it but uh i don't see it right here yeah that's all the stuff i got i just found it it's called comfort purses.org it's a non-profit organization that my mom's friend's daughter is a part of and they pretty much just make care packages like this in a bag for uh, women who have breast cancer so that's really cool so thank you again so much nana i really appreciate this up close and personal i love that blue it's, yeah. it's so gorgeous he's posing <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at him. Whoa, he has long feathers. That's crazy. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, I'm currently editing my videos for my chemo vlogs, so like what you're going to be watching. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here editing. And I'm just wanting to be real and like upfront about what I deal with because it's not always rainbows and sunshine. It's not always positivity, which I know it should be. But there's times where I, you know, I don't like how I look. You know, the hair, obviously. Um, I will show you what I looked like right here. Uh, when I had my hair, it was uh, really long and healthy. And unfortunately... Though it's just one of the um, the things I have to sacrifice in order to get better. But I, it's hard seeing myself with hair and then seeing myself in the mirror and, you know, have a buzzed head. But, yeah, it's hard sometimes. Um, and uh, this is from my port that I got. It's just hard sometimes to um, be positive or feel happy because I don't like how I look and my hair was a big identity for me and now that it's gone it's hard but I'm just trying to edit my video you know and it just kind of popped in my head like I don't really like how I look but you know I'm trying my best to rock it I'm trying my best to you know, I wear my hat and I wear I wear cute stuff to make me feel better, but I honestly just want to be real and and just be honest with you guys and just show you like yeah, it's not easy sometimes and it's hard, but uh, yeah. We are at our point my appointment, so I could take my dressing off. I'm a little nervous. Because I don't know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, let's go. Alright, I was just told by my doctor that I have to get my pick line taken out now. I'm not excited because they have to pull it out. <laughs> I'm not excited about and this. Way they'll take it, she's scared. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> this is what was inside of me. Isn't that so cool? I, th I thought it was gonna hurt actually when I pulled it, when she pulled it out, but I actually didn't feel a thing, which is great. But yeah, that's what was inside of me. Mm. Sweet, no, what's in here? My mama took me to Pina Pizza to celebrate me getting my pick taken out. So yeah, the procedure wasn't that bad. Uh, pretty much she held my uh, arm down with this white thing and she just pulled it out and she said uh, It was 35 centimeters long and it was a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be I thought it was the, the line was really thick, but it was actually really thin if you saw in the in the clip really really tiny and uh, That thing went all the way up. To, uh, she said it went all the way up to my heart. So um, Didn't feel it. Thank God. I, I made sure to breathe in and breathe out when she took it out. So if you have a pick line and you're scared about getting it taken out, I recommend taking a deep breath 
counting to three with the nurse and when the nurse pulls it out, you, you release and hopefully you don't feel it because <laughs> I didn't feel pain, I felt fine. So I'm, I'm excited. I can go to Soak City now and go swimming with my girl. I'm so excited to take her. So that adventure will be soon. I'm hoping to go maybe next week. All right, and our pizza just came out. It's nice and fresh and we're gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah. That was delicious. And in case you're wondering what it's called, Pina Pizza. Thank you. That was delicious. Now we are going to go home and rest. I'm gonna go home, enjoy some time with my baby girl outside. Cause I'm feeling much better now. I was feeling really, really, really drowsy. Like I took like a Dilaudid or a Norco, but I didn't take anything. I just took my regular pills. And I was super drained. All right, back home we go. Ooh. I saw a space astronaut. Alrighty guys, uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for the vlog. Um, I'm pretty much um, already filming vlog footage for this next week coming up. Um, I'm a little behind in all of these uploads and I apologize for that. But um, I'm just home with my boyfriend in Riverside now. And it's uh, just been a chill week, you know? I'm um, just struggling with falling asleep at night. That's the only thing, but, um, excuse me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I had a lot of fun at the baseball game at um, Disneyland, and we just had a lot of good times this week. And uh, I really, really am happy that my port inside of my chest is finally kind of healed and I've been going swimming and getting wet and that's fun. So I'm really happy that everything's been working out. Uh, I am wearing my shirt that Na got me from Wee Disney. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. So thank you so much, Na and Nair. I really appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. And, and don't forget you guys, if you want to support my channel, um, again, I am out of work right now just because I'm permanently disabled. Uh, and it really sucks. <laughs> so if you wanna support my channel uh, financially, you can always do that. There's links in the description below. I have a Patreon, uh, a one, three, and $5 tier. If you do the $5 tier, you get my videos actually uh, early before anyone else on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, you also get my pin traders that uh, are newest in my collection available to trade. And you could see that too early. Um, but yeah, you don't have to though. It's totally fine. I, I honestly don't want to push it too much, but uh, I know it's best to you know throw it out there. Uh, we also have a cash app if you want to um, donate there. I appreciate you so much if you do that. It really means the world to me. And um, you know, I really would appreciate it because it would be a lot of help. So yeah, if you want to support me or if you want to, you know, donate to uh, my cause, <laughs> I would really appreciate that. But yeah, that's it for me. Remember, adventure is out there. Bye, guys. Woo!